This is the schematic from an ultrasonic sound generator. It's made in a completely classical way with a, a stable multi vibrator circuit. Two transistors here, you can see them. Both of BC547B. And um, this is one of the back coupling capacitors. And here, 2N7, uh, 2700 picofarad in parallel, two times, is also a back coupling capacitor. And this is the waveform. It's a nasty ultrasonic sound and the whole circuit operates best on 9 volts. Uh, but I was busy with showing the schematic. This is the generator circuit at first. Two transistors. Back coupling capacitors. And in the middle of the screen you see now a 50k potentiometer connected to a 3N3 um, non-polar capacitor. And with the 50k potentiometer you can set the frequency. And after that the signal goes into a BD139 NPN medium power transistor. It has a tweeter in the collector lead. These are the pin connections from the BD139. And the whole circuit is supplied by 9 volts at approximately 0 0.5 ampere, 500 milliampere. So it's an easy circuit to make, I think. Works properly. The transistor has a 2K2 uh, resistor from the base to the um, power supply lead to get it into a positive state so that the uh, frequencies are amplified properly. And it also adds something to the waveform this 2K2 resistor. Ok, that was the schematic. Here is the circuit in practice on the breadboard. The black uh, thing is the probe from the oscilloscope. Here is the complete circuit. And this is the 50k potentiometer. I'm going to turn that potentiometer now. And I hope that you can hear the sound changing. This is the tweeter. 8 ohms at 25 watts. So it can handle a lot of power, I think, this tweeter. And I'm uh, going to turn the potentiometer now. Ten point two kilohertz waveform go to a higher frequency here. It's almost not audible for me. Tweeter again thirteen kilohertz and now we go to the higher frequencies. 15 kilohertz. I cannot hear this frequency through the tweeter, but I'm sure there will be people that can hear this frequency, though not on YouTube, because uh, I think the bandwidth on YouTube uh, videos is limited. But anyhow, it works. And this is 15 kilohertz. And as far as I can see, um, the output uh, level is approximately 4 watts or so. So with this high frequency sound um, it's possible to make a generator that strays these high frequent audio frequencies freely into the room. The circuit once again, the A-stable multivibrator End stage with the BD139, the tweeter connections from the BD139. I think it's an interesting circuit.
for everyone and it's one of the basics in the electronics, the A-Stabile Multivibrator.